Hey everyone, I'm Colin from fruitsofspirit.com and today we've got a really special story for you. Today I want to tell you guys about the fruits of the Spirit. Now Galatians tells us that the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You know, none of these things sound like fruits to me. I was thinking of something more like apples or blueberries. But you know what, it's true, these aren't fruits. But what the Bible means when it says the fruits of the Spirit is it's talking about the things that God wants to grow in our lives. But how do these fruits grow? Well, it's easy. Jesus promised his disciples that they would receive an advocate or helper once he was gone. He told them later that that advocate and helper is called the Holy Spirit. But here's the cool part. The Holy Spirit wasn't only given to the disciples then, but it's also given to anyone that chooses to be a disciple of Jesus today. Okay, but two questions. How do I become a disciple? And what exactly is the Holy Spirit after all? Well, I become a disciple by following Jesus. It's that simple. Now, how about the Holy Spirit? Well, basically, the Holy Spirit is God living with us. So this means that God comes to live with us when we follow Jesus. Please do stick around with us to the end of this video if you'd like to find out how to receive a free coloring page of the illustration that you're seeing in this video. Also, if you'd like the content, please do consider liking this video as well as subscribing to our channel. You know, when God lives with you, that changes everything. And this is where the fruits come in. The fruits are told to us in Galatians 5, 22 to 23, and it says that they're love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But these fruits aren't your everyday kind of love, joy, or peace. They're supernatural. It's the kind of love that led Jesus to die for us. It's the kind of joy that was in Peter and Silas as they worshipped and praised God even though they were in prison. It's the kind of peace that was in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were thrown into a fiery furnace. It's the kind of patience that we see in Joseph, who spent years and years in prison for something that he didn't do, but still he praised God. It's the kind of kindness that Stephen had when he forgave the very people that were killing him. It's the kind of goodness that Daniel had where no one could find anything wrong with him. It's the kind of faithfulness that Noah had as he preached the word. It's the kind of gentleness or meekness that John the Baptist had when he said, he must become greater and I must become less. It's the kind of self-control that Jesus himself had where he never gave in to temptation, not even once. So does this mean that if I have the Holy Spirit, I'm gonna be perfect? Well, no, that's why these are like fruits. They take time to grow. But as we follow Jesus each day, our lives will start to look more and more like his. Thank you all so much for sticking around to the end. As promised, we've got a free coloring page available for you guys on our website, fruitsofspirit.com. So fruitsofspirit.com is a website full of resources for parents and children. We exist to help Christian parents and children live out the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We share tips, advice, and resources to grow future disciples of Jesus Christ. We've got tons of articles as well as free coloring pages and activities for you and your kids. So please do come check us out.